Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Kim and this is Kim's Beauty Basics. Today I'm going to be doing a eye makeup look, a fall, fall inspired eye makeup look. It is fall apparently now, unfortunately, even though it's really sunny and hot here in Canada, which is a great change from normal. So even though it is a little bit warm out, I'm still inspired by the fall colors and um, the change of seasons. So I'm going to be doing a a look that can transition from day to night but for me it's mostly a day look I don't really uh, go out that much I don't go out much and so this will be a nice easy day look I just filmed a hair tutorial on this look here um, my very first hair tutorial on this channel it's really quick easy and if you just want a, a quick uh, way of doing your hair and getting out the door fast really recommend that it just gives you a little bit of um, tips and tricks that I have learned over the years on how to manage my hair. My hair is super long, so I feel like I'm doing an okay job with that. Um, so I know a little bit about that. If you want to see this eye makeup look, just keep on watching. Um, and if you could, I'd really appreciate it if you could like, comment, and subscribe down below. Um, and yeah, so the tutorial is coming right up. All right, so we're back. Um, I do have my face makeup on, obviously. Um, I just need to prep my lids. I am going to be using this uh, Urban Decay eyeshadow primer in just the original formula. I'm just going to be applying that. Yes, I just have a sample size. It is expensive. Okay, I'm going to use this first. I've been trying to find a cheap eye primer dupe. I'm thinking I might get the NYX one. It comes in like a little like paint pot. I forget what it's called. I did use that before, I don't know where it went, I must have lost it. So I might buy that or check out something else from the drugstore before I go to Urban Decay. Because Urban Decay is really expensive. I just don't know if it's worth it. Like this does help my makeup to like not crease as much, but man, expensive. So I'm gonna be using the Smashbox Double Exposure palette here. So the Smashbox Double Exposure. Um, yeah, just got it a while ago, uh, I can't remember, I think my mom, my mom bought it for me, what am I, five, my mom bought it for me, it's from, um, Shoppers Drug Mart, I believe, she, uh, they have carry Smashbox products, and she just, like, I don't know how they get her, but they always get her, but this is the palette here, as you can see, I have used it quite a bit, it did come with a brush as well in here, but... I, it's it's in my mini brush. I don't know which one it is that came with it. I do have a couple of Smashbox palettes, so I have a couple of their brushes. All right, so I'm gonna use my trusty blending, applying everywhere, do everything brush here. Um, it's from Real Techniques. Everything has worn off of it, but yeah, it's one of my favorites. It just looks like this. All right, you are on my eyelids. <laughs> my brows look really overpowering today, but I promise they'll look better once we, uh, it's my shadow on. Just applying, applying this shade here. It is in the shade Veiled. So just all over the lid. All right. So after that, I am going to put a crease color in. All right, so we're gonna go in with this shade here. I believe the shade is called Fig. I'm gonna take a little bit of that and I with the same brush. Just gonna apply a little on the outside. Don't worry, I'm just gonna tap that on a little bit. All right, so that's on there. And then I'm gonna take a blending brush and blend that out. I'm using this blending brush here, it's just by Bamboo Naturals and they call it an eye smudge brush, which is what? Eye smudge brush, what? It's the first time using this brush, so we're learning together how this works. It seems to be okay. It's kind of dragging a little bit, but it's okay. I purchased these, uh, like this brush collection set for like $14 from Winners, which is basically like Marshalls if you're in the States. I mean, we have Marshalls too now, but they're all owned by the same company, TJ Maxx, Winners, and Marshalls. It's like the TJX. All right, so that seems to be blended okay. We are gonna go in now with a little bit more punchy of a color. Let's layer, let's layer a glitter over top. So this one 
here is called copper. We're gonna be layering that into the crease. So taking a little bit of that copper, just a couple dabs. I do enjoy this palette because it is pigmented, but it does uh, blend out pretty easily. It's not like too pigmented. There's not. It's a good balance of fallout, like there's a little fallout, but it's not terrible as you saw the palette I've already had for over a year and it barely looks like I've touched it really. So that's blended out there. This looks a little funny there, but yeah, so that's what we have so far. So to punch up the color a little bit, I'm gonna apply a little bit of uh, concealer using the Hard Candy Glamouflage. I don't really like this for under the eye, it's a little bit drying, so I find using it on top of my eyeshadow, it's like, you can use it for a cut crease, whatever you want, um, is a good, good use for it. So I'm just applying it with a flat brush here. So okay, I'm just going to apply that to my lid. It's basically just like doing a second eyeshadow base, and it'll just help the colors really show up. So just using that, making a small line there. And just so you know, Glamouflage is just from uh, oh, hard can from Hard Candy. It's from Walmart, um, so it is very affordable, very cheap. So we're gonna be using Pure Cosmetics Soiree Diaries. I used it in my very first YouTube video. You can go back and check that out. I'm gonna be using the shimmers in this palette, which are awesome. Like the shimmers are great. They don't crease very much, and yeah, they've actually worn really well. Again, my final verdict on that pal palette. You'll have to watch the video, but. I can tell you I do like the shimmers in this palette. So I'm gonna be going in with Twinkle, which is one of my favorite shades. Just applying that to the lid over the areas that we applied the Glamouflage, Glamouflage Concealer. I'm gonna go back into the crease and just blend out that edge with uh, what we just did with the, um, the Twinkle. I'm gonna go in with Stunner. Right there, go in with our blending crease brush. Pulling it under just a little bit. As you can see there, it's starting to look a little bit more punchy. I'm gonna take this flat, I don't know, packing brush. I just dip the very tip of it into that stunner that we just put in. I'm just gonna tap, 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 a little bit on the edge, tap a little of the excess off, and I'm gonna go underneath my eye here. Just with a light hand, tapping a little bit more of the excess off. Going back into the other side. Just added some color underneath, and once we add our eyeshadow, or sorry, not eyeshadow, our eyeliner and mascara, it'll all blend together better if you just have a little cohesiveness from the top to bottom here. So this is from NYX. So that's from NYX and it's in the shade HS19 or Innocent. It's the Hot Singles eyeshadow. So it's like an iridescent champagne-y gold, rose gold color. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that packing brush and I'm gonna be applying that to my uh, lid and just more on the inside of the lid and middle, inner to middle of the lid because I just want a little bit of a shine. And then just for my inner corner highlight, so I'm gonna add the shade Blanc from uh, the Smashbox uh, Double Exposure Palette and I'm just gonna go in with my finger, my index finger, touching that and just touching the inner corner here. I just added a little bit layered on top of what we just went over with the NYX too, just tapping it with my finger. So this is the finished um, eye look with the eyeshadow and I'm going to add the liner and mascara off camera because it is a little bit difficult to do so I'll be right back. Two hours later. Alright so this is the finished eye look here. I added my eyeliner and mascara. Just so you know, uh, the eyeliner that I used was the NYC 24 Hour City Proof or City Proof 24 Hour 
uh, eye, liquid eyeliner that is waterproof. Um, I reviewed it in my last video, so if you want to check that out, just check out my channel and check out the other videos. I use that, it works really well. I've been using it all week and it's so easy to apply and it uh, it wears so well. It never has uh, flaked off or run or yeah, anything. It's been great. So I have that eyeliner on and then I just have my normal uh, L'Oreal Lash Paradise uh, mascara on top or on my eye eyelashes. Um, so that's everything. I think it's a cute fall look. It just has like a little bit of like the ruddy browns and the copper shimmer um, that I think screams fall and it's easy to wear. You could definitely wear this for daytime and if you wanted you could do nighttime. I think all I would add personally because um, I don't really go out that much <laughs> as I said before. Um, I would just add some false lashes. I think that would be a really uh, nice look. That's that. And also, uh, again, I did a hair tutorial, tutorial today on this look here, just my everyday uh, wave. So if you want to check that out, that will be, um, oh, sorry, that will be the last video that I've uploaded. The eyeliner video will be the one before that. So just check out all my videos. Why not? Um, I would really appreciate it. But anyway, that is it for me. I hope you enjoyed that eye look. If you have any questions, uh, comments, uh, let me know uh, in the comments below. Um, and if you could, I'd really appreciate it if you like and um, subscribe to my channel. Yeah, and that's all for me. And until next time, I will see you later. I have to get to work in. Oh, I have two minutes to get to work. Okay, let's, go. let's cut this. All right. <laughs> have a good day.